Well, <clears throat> my last video brought more responses than I even anticipated about it. Um, some people calling in question my um, whole point of that, which was not to change your style, but to <clears throat> do things outside your comfort zone and do things minus this finger or minus using your thumb pressure, stuff like that. It's not about changing what you do. It's about being able to negotiate through chaos. Say a moment comes when you have to use a different finger because you did something or you're playing a chord a different way and you've got to, you want to voice a ninth or an eleventh or something over it and you have to redo that. So it, it's not about changing what, what you do overall. It's about changing the rigidity of your mindset about it. Um, on that note, I'm going to show you something that doesn't require guitar. It's to help you be able to do something worthwhile towards your guitar playing while you don't have one in hand. I, I ride the city bus because I'm poor. And while I'm on the bus, I listen to my, my headphones, keep to myself, but I also do uh, little exercises. If you take your left hand, if you're a normal guitar player, this is your guitar neck. I mean, this is your uh, guitar hand. Your right hand is going to be your guitar neck. Grab the thumb of your left hand with your right hand, and then use your right hand as your neck, and you can work yourself up and down and do different drills and stuff. I mean, you can even try chords, but it's not gonna, you're not gonna have, have any idea of how accurate you are, but doing your one, two, three, fours, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, da, 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 that kind of stuff is good. Um, there's another thing you can do with this that's great. I usually keep my wrist pretty level across the top of my, the plane of my knuckles and this, I keep it pretty level when I'm doing it, when I grab my thumb and I've got it where I can work myself up and down. And it's usually pretty much wider than a normal guitar neck, so you can get a stretch going this way as you would with Santa Nylon guitar versus on like Strat, you got a very skinnier, a lot skinnier range, so you never have to do this. This can help you get those kind of stretches. Another thing, and this is where you gotta be careful, Vivian uh, Campbell from uh, White Snake hurt himself doing this. Um, or was it Adrian Bamberger? It was one of the two. They hurt themselves doing these uh, stretches, isometric stretches and pre, playing stretches, which I don't believe in all that stretching. I believe in warming up a little bit and maybe doing some stuff, but nothing crazy. But anyway, um, he hurt himself doing stretches, so I want you to be aware of that. But what I'd like to do is take my finger and put it over the top of my knuckle, my, my index finger, and then I can use that to keep it rigid while I take the rest of these hands and move them this way, move them up, down my wrist this way. And I'll do that with this finger there and like that. And I've really learned to get some good separation from these three by doing that, but you gotta be careful holding it. You wanna to count to five. If it ever hurts, stop. Um, it's just one more thing you can do with your body to, and not have a guitar and get something done. But um, I usually just do mostly drills. Um, like I said, if I'm having a bad week, which this finger's been giving me problems here this last couple of months, um, something in here feels funky. I've been using this to stretch it and hold it until I don't feel it anymore and then I let go. And, I, and, I, and I've been doing that a lot. So there's a lot of things you can get done without your guitar and all the stuff I tell you it's not stuff to change your weight stuff you can add to your repertoire it's funny little things and this is just one more thing just for practice anyway another dumb video from Jim and I'm out